Hi, Baseball Buddy fans. Welcome back to Baseball Buddies. Uh, um, and today we're opening up 1992 Donruss Triple Play Baseball Cards. And you know what the box looks like? Back of the box. Card one. And then over the that. And then over that side. Back of the side. They have 15 cards in each one. And... They're Donner's 1992 Triple A cards. Back. Okay, let's open it up. And in the link down below, we will be giving away doubles from sets. So we're going to be giving away our Matt Nooks and other types of one. Okay, so first we have this little Dawn Rush Triple Play game. You can win a trip to 1990 the All-Star Game. It's 2017 right now. And, and to play, you if you rub off two areas that are the same, you win three packages of Triple Play Baseball. If you get three matches, you win a Triple Play Baseball cap, so a hat. And if you get four, you get the grand prize, which is the win to an uh, all-star game, which it looks like. And we're not going to rub it off this time because it's wasting time. Okay, let's get that set. On to our first card. First, we have, and I'm not always going to say all the names right, so sometimes I'm just going to need my dad to read them. Bill Landrum. He was a right-handed pitcher for the Pirates. Is that correct, Dad? That's correct. And it looks like. And some of these guys are doing ballerina poses, so do not think these are ballerina cards if you see them. He looks like he's doing a lunge, though. Right-handed pitcher for the Pirates. It was 6'2", weight 205 pounds. Wait, Dad, what's yeah. bat average again? Batting average? Yeah, what does it say? It says BA. Oh, right. Oh, because it says batting. Yep. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so we have Bill Gluckson. Gullickson. He played for the Detroit Tigers. He was a right-handed pitcher. And he has a serious face. Not like the other lunger. He has 6'3", 220 pounds. Next we have Andrew Dawson. I know I'm not saying that right. Andre Dawson. He was actually at the card show we were at the other day. He was? He was. He was one of my favorite players. He played for the Cubs, but he also played for the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. He's a right fielder. And it looks like he's doing a cha-cha slide. He says they weigh under 95 pounds. How tall is he? Um, six foot three. Yeah, he's tall. What? And he was fast too. What is this the batting average? Uh, that's the at bats. See the average A V G. That's the first column. Yeah. So it's oh, and this it, one yeah. Here I'll, we'll, we'll go across. The first one's average. Yeah. Then games. Yeah. Then at bats. Yeah. Then hits. Yeah. Then home runs. Yeah. Then RBIs. Yeah. And do you know what the last one is? Suburban. <laughs> Stolen bases. Okay, so it looks like he hit 31 home runs, and for his whole career, he hit 377 home runs for his whole career. Yeah, he's a power, power hitter. A power, 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 power. Okay, next we have Scott Cooper. Scott Cooper. He was a third baseman and shortstop for the Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox, unlike the New York Mets, what we live in Boston. 
with 6'3 weight, 200 pounds, bat left, throws left, right. Oh, so he was a very bad hitter. Why would he bat? He bat nothing for his whole career. It says 457. But where? Average, 457? No. For oh, hitting. zero home runs. Yeah, and then zero home runs for his whole career. And then he was very really bad at stolen bases, too. Don't forget, sometimes these are like the first cards they have. Yeah. So it's their first year in the league. So they're rookies and they haven't really started yet. Yeah, I know. If they're playing here, they should at least get one home run or so. And one um, stolen base. Don't forget, they might be watching this, too. So we want to be nice to everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have something Sanders. Yeah, Dion Sanders. And he's a left fielder for the Braves. And it looks like he was a model, too, for the Braves. You know what else he was? He was just like Bo Jackson. Oh, he played football, too? He did. He played football and he played baseball. And he... um. He, I think, also went to both, I think, a Super Bowl and a World Series. One of the first, I think, and only people to do that. Yeah, so it looks like he's doing like an action shot of him like sliding into first base. Yeah, it looks like actually it's into second base. base and he's, he's telling the umpire, time out, time out. Looks like third base, actually. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because... It should, it should, that looks way closer. Yeah. I like these action okay. cards. He was 6'4", 195 pounds. He had four home runs in 1991, in nine, in his whole career. And, okay. And next we have Chito Mark. Tiza. Yep, Cheeto Martinez. I wonder if he likes Cheetos. Mm. <laughs> he would play for the Orioles, and he was a right fielder. And he looks like he's having fun. And next, he was 13. He had 13 home run hits in 1991, and 13 in his whole career. Next, we have... A sideways one, Lenny Dystra. Lenny Dystra, he's an old Met. He is? Yeah, he was on the 86 Mets. He was a center fielder and he played for the Philadelphia Phillies. And I played for the Philadelphia Phillies when I was four. That's a cool card, I like the horizontal ones. He was 5'10", so very tiny. The tiniest one we've ever got this year. And what 185 pounds back left and throw left. And he got three home runs in 1991 and 46 home runs in his whole career. Look how many stolen bases. Wow. In 1991, 24. And then for his whole career, 190. That's a lot. Yes, it is. He's speedy. Speedy like Douglas. Oh, speaking of Douglas, Doug oh. Darbeck. Doug Drabeck. <laughs> That's funny. He was a right-handed pitcher for the Pirates. He was 6'1 and weighed 185 pounds and does not turn his back. So next we have Milt Curry. He played for the Detroit Tigers and he was center fielder. Am I saying it right? Milk Curly? Milt? Curler. Kyler. Okay, you play for the Ginger Tigers, but there's the other. <laughs> okay, you play for the Detroit Tigers center fielder. He was 5'10 and 175 pounds. He got three in 1991, three in his whole career. Next we have John Gunez. See, he's doing Ooh, that's a gymnastics a good one. pose. That's Juan Gonzalez. He's doing another gymnastics pose. We told you. They call him 
Juan gone, meaning and he hits the ball out of the park. Yeah, and it looks like he plays ballerina at the park too. Most people can't do that, walk like that. Well, he swings, it's a follow through. Yeah, I know, but it's creepy. Center fielder, he plays for the Rangers. And he was 6'3", weight 200 pounds, bat right, throws right. Ooh, I like what we're seeing here. Oh. Next we have one of these, like what he was really good at. And it looks like we have Frank Viola. Frank Viola, yeah. And the Gallery of Stars. That's um, Gallery of Stars, and that is like the Diamond Kings, but it's called the Gallery of Stars. And this tells you about this, but we're not going to have time today to do this. That's really a cool card. Okay, so we have... What we should do is we should come back to the Gallery of Stars for a special episode. Yeah. So once we get like five or six, we'll come back to do on them, and then we'll read about them. Next we have awesome action shot! Dun 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 dun! So it looks like, in my vision, he is jumping on top of him to get on the base, but it looks like he already got him out, and it looks like he is Superman Part 2, and it looks like his name is Philly. That's cool. What's the back say? Back says... Okay, I think we have time to read this. The play at the plate is one of the most exciting plays in baseball. The catcher has to field the throw while the runner is trying to knock him out over the score. And the photo on the front of this card shows the Astros Steve finally crashing into Gary Carter. Wow! So yeah, it's Steve Finley crashing into Gary Carter. Gary Carter? Wait, is that the Gary Carter we know? Oh, that's the Gary Carter we know. That does not look anything like Gary Carter. I know. You got about uh, three more minutes, buddy. Okay. Three left, so perfect. perfect. Next we have Bobby Dimpen. Yep. You got it. He was a right hand pitcher for the White Sox, and I played on the White Sox. He was 6'3, 195 pounds, and he bats right, throws right. And yeah. So, same last one. Next we have John Crook. He was a first baseman for the Philly, 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 Phillies. And he was, and he was height 5'10", 200 pounds, bats left, throws left, and he got 21 home runs in 1991 and 69 in his whole career. Okay, this is our last one. Mickey Telton. We've already got him in one of our videos, but I do not think it was one of this exact one. So we are going to be keeping this one. But he was a catcher for the Detroit Tigers. We have one where he's actually playing the catcher pose. Okay, Mickey Tilton. Hi, 6'2", weight 210 pounds, bats. Switch, throws right. So by switch it means you can he hits whenever he whatever he wants. And he got 31 home runs in 1991, 105 in his whole career. Okay, that is all for baseball buddies today. And see you next time. And go to the link down below after this video and get some baseball cards. Strike three. You're out of here!